Hello YouTube, today we're going to be going over waveform and phasers and the derivations of it. Uh, just kind of a quick derivation to get the idea of where uh, the everything comes from for the notations. So first got to take a look at AC circuits. So AC circuit stands for alternating current. And you might see a voltage expressed um, as, say, something that's sinusoidal like this. Uh, v max, which is the amplitude times sine omega t. So this voltage is also sinusoidal by Ohm's law since the current is also alternating. Alternating. So the graph would look something like this, right? So the voltage goes up and down and fluctuates because of this. Uh, this expression here, and this is kind of what, or this is how AC circuits behave. But um, when dealing with stuff in circuits, typically in electrical engineering and in physics, you will see these expressions actually in terms of cosine. So what's the difference between sine and cosine? Well, it's shifted by 90 degrees, or there's a phase shift, right? Instead of starting at the origin at 0, 0, you start at the maximum, or at 90 degrees, right? So that is where this waveform comes from. So waveform is simply the sinusoidal, or the cosine expression of this alternating current here. So we'll just say x of t could be current, could be voltage, could be whatever, right? Um, or it could be current, or it could be voltage. So by adding that plus theta is pretty much is denoting that phase shift. And the omega there is the frequency, right? And that's in radians per second. And we're going to be doing polar stuff here. Um, and that is pretty much how you have the waveform is by definition this equation. Now there's something called phasor form. And phasor form um, is written, is defined as this. So that bar x bar represents x in phasor form is the maximum of x times e to the j theta. And j is just an imaginary number. It's kind of like i, except just they write it as j because you don't want to get confused with current when you're dealing with circuits. So again, a phaser is a vector that continuously spins around the origin. And that's kind of what a phaser is. And it's what gives this sinusoid here direction. So here you would see actually uh, the phaser working here. So the phaser would be pointing up here. It would be pointing left here and then down for the minimum and then right here, and then up, and then left, and repeat, right? So that's what the phaser does. And now, the shorthand notation for this phaser form, since you'll be doing a lot of calculations with phaser form, is simply converting that e to the j theta. We're just going to write that as angle theta. And I'm going to give an example, just so you kind of know what I'm talking about. So 2, to the, two e to the j 45 degrees, or j 45 would just be written as 2 angle 45 degrees. Uh, so that's... It's the shorthand notation so we don't have to deal with stuff later. So that means the phasor form can also be written by shorthand as this. And this will be much simpler to look at when you're doing calculations and you don't have to make a mistake in your head. You're less likely to make a mistake. So, so the complex expression of the waveform um, is such that you have your real component and then your imaginary component, right? But this is by or Euler's formula. You can say that cosine... Uh, plus cosine theta plus i sine, or cosine x plus i sine x um, is e to the j x. So that's how you got this um, expression here, right? And recall if you split that up uh, by multiplication of exponents, you can isolate that sum up there in the, in the exponent form. But remember the definition of the phasor form, right? So the definition of phasor form is, hey, uh, we have the maximum amplitude of x front times e to the j theta. But hey, look, we got that in the expression there. So look at that. Uh, we can just say, look, that's just x bar times, that's x bar. So therefore, x of t is just x bar j the omega t. So that's kind of the derivation there. But suppose we had um, just some, you know, phasor form here, z, um, and you had x bar and y bar, you had two different, components here, and you were, and you got the expression to be equal to such as this, right? You have both in phasor form, you have the maximum, um, and then the shorthand notation for that phasor, and then the other phasor below it. Now, when you're dividing out like this, remember, um, okay, first, so let phi equals theta minus beta, and the reason why is because if you notice, theta and beta is e to the j theta or e to the j beta, so when you're subtracting uh, the exponents there, or when you're dividing the exponents, when you're dividing the exponents there, you're actually subtracting, um, and that'll just give you phi there. So that is why we can write the equation like this. 
and that is phaser form. And to go out of phaser form, uh, from the previous example, why don't we take a look at that? You simply take whatever xm over ym, let's just call that zm, and then you have cosine omega t plus v. So whatever you're, you have to figure out what your omega was previously it has to be given to you or expressed in the pre or it can be de um, determined analytically from the circuit or whatever. But that is how you get your phaser form and your waveform. So I hope this video helped derive and kind of get an idea of the mathematical derivations for this shorthand notation. Hope it helped and happy studying.